Keith is here now with a full check of the forecast. Keith, we've been cruising for a while and I feel mm -hmm. like we've got a lot of a good thing going. Why stop now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're almost like losing track of it a little bit because sure. we, so last week was amazing. We had one shower on Saturday night. Yeah. This Friday we have a chance for a shower and then if you don't catch that, it's, it's another week. Smooth basically. sailing. Yeah. Once, a, once a week, essentially, as narrated Just by Sammy's. Just enough to keep us out of a drought, right? For now. Yeah. For now. I think we will get there. I mean, Thank this you, kind of weather, you know. You're welcome bringing it back Thank down you. to no, no, no. To reality. No, <laughs> okay. Listen, I am delusional. We all know. Debbie Those down. emails <laughs> have reached my inbox for sure. <laughs> um, and uh, we will talk about that in a second. High temperatures today, 75 in Portland, 77 in Sanford, 78 in Freiburg. Huge swings from the morning to the afternoon. In some cases, 40 degrees from the morning lows to the afternoon high. Dew points are right around 45 to 50. I'm showing you this because it's still a little bit crisp, especially in the morning hours, and that has a lot to do with the dew point allowing temperatures to drop. Tonight will not be as cool as last night. Satellite looking good. We don't have much in the way. Cloud cover will be clear through most of the evening. Uh, 50s initially down to the 40s for a lot of us. Along the coast, we might be right around 50 flat, depending. Inland, we should be about 45 or so by early tomorrow morning, but that is warmer than what we saw this morning. Tomorrow's a mixture of sun and clouds. More sun than clouds, but I'd say partly cloudy. Temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80. There will be some wildfire smoke, which there was today, too, starting to drift over the state, especially in the afternoon. We'll see more of that tomorrow. And then here comes our front on Friday, which I mean, you can see it right here, but it's not that drastic. It is certainly not a squall line of showers and storms. It comes through with a chance for a shower, but as it drifts towards the coastline, there's not a lot of oomph in this thing. So we may end up in the low 80s on Friday with just the kind of scattered, if not isolated shower. Once that front goes to the south on Friday night, we're in good shape over the weekend with a ridge of high pressure. So here's the wildfire smoke a little bit of over the state right now. Looks like according to these uh, small scale models, there'll be a, a heavier, denser plume of smoke coming in tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon. So that may put an extra layer of kind of haze on the environment, but still I think it ends up being a nice and dry day. So here's high pressure for the weekend, which looks great. Watch it into next week. I mean, it just sits right over us. Very little movement here. And if a tropical to the south doesn't develop, we could go all of next week into next weekend before we see any kind of rain. Francine here, her a category one hurricane uh, officially looks like it just made landfall there when the eye wall touches land. That's landfall. Northeast winds at uh, 17 miles an hour. So it doesn't look super ferocious on radar, which is good, but obviously we'll wait to see what the surge situation is. That's the whole game down into southern Louisiana. So, um, yeah, I mean, it looks really nice into next week. We're in the low 80s. That's pretty warm for this time of the year, notably so. And then, as I mentioned, if we there's a tropical thing floating around, not not our not a concern for us. But if that doesn't develop in the Carolinas mid next week, then we may go all of next week without any rain again. OK, so back to the drought thing then. Yes, it, we don't have it yet. Right. But mm -hmm. if it is kind of a worrisome thing. Yeah. Will the snowpack that we get this year, could that possibly make us feel better? It's better not to do it that way. Okay. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I don't think yeah. this is going to be, unless this continues for a long period of time, we had a pretty good, um, it was a good summer, but we actually got a good amount of rain. That's key. You don't want to go into the fall almost at a drought. Super, super so I think dry. unless this gets crazy, like it doesn't rain for five weeks, I think it'll just be a low level drought, but we'll keep an eye on it. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Keith.